Hi there. <clears throat> bones. Big bones, small bones. And we hear all these stories. Give the dog a bone. Don't give the dog a bone. Only give the dog a bone when this and that. Or if the dog growls at you, just take everything away. Why taking the, do the bone away from the dog? Like, what's wrong with it? I understand when the dogs get protective over his bone, we're focusing on the dog being protective of the bone. That's normal. However, we want to check in and see why is the dog protective of the bone? Maybe there is a reason behind that. Maybe the dog is protective over the bone because we condition the dog to be protective of the bone. Whoa, you think I'm nuts? i explain it to you. Let's go back in time when you got a puppy and the puppy got in trouble and the puppy had a sock in his mouth. Sock, mouth. And you go up to your puppy and says, no, but puppy, and grab the puppy's mouth and start pulling the sock out of his mouth and yell at your dog with stern voice, no, but puppy, and puppy in his nose. Picture that. Now let's turn around and just be the puppy for a second. You have this huge person coming up to you while you have found this sock on the floor, a free sock, and you're like, oh my God, a sock. Hmm, nice and cheesy, maybe I can chew on that. And suddenly this person comes up to you and grabs that sock that you just found. It's your sock, it was there for free, and you had the right to take it because nobody else had that sock, therefore it's yours, you can take it, right? And now they grab the sock and take it from you. Not only that, they're aggressive and tell you, no, but dog. And you're like, did you just take my sock away that I found and you claim it and just being aggressive to me? Like, you dude, that's wrong. And it happens again and again and again. And all of a sudden you figure out that these humans, the only thing they have in mind, when you have something that you like, they will come and take it. it happens once, twice, three times, many times. And you're like, you know, I know you guys. All the things you have in mind is if I have something, you're gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you next what's gonna work. See, you reacted on that. Now try it again, I'm gonna snap at your hand and see what's gonna happen next. See, I told you, if you come and take now, now, now I know exactly what your weak point is. You don't trust my teeth, huh? Now I have my sock, you wanna take it, huh? Come and get it. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, without really recognizing it, you condition your dog to be protective over his stuff. Just like that. Or maybe not you, but maybe the kids. Mommy, mommy, take my toy. Bad dog, give me my toy. And all of a sudden you have a dispute coming up. Your child and the dog have a dispute. Which, you know, children have the right because children are small, they don't understand. But the puppy should know. A puppy, a four month old puppy, which is in the mind younger than your dog, than your child, should know what to do. How can a puppy can solve a dispute against a human. Now all of a sudden we recognize when we go down that road that I basically taught my dog to react when I come up. So now I'm coming the bad guy and I'm the taker because that's what I do. I come up and take things like every time. I take the football away because that's what the trainer told me. Take his football away and told him who's the boss. Or the other guy told me, if he has something in his mouth, take it, make a stern no, pop him in his nose or bite him his ears. Or you know what? If he has something he shouldn't have, just take everything away. Everything, nothing. The dog should have nothing to chew on because that's only gonna save your shoes and everything. And all of a sudden the puppy is like bored, digs in the yard, choose on his crate, choose his feet, whatever. Because the concept is wrong. Now let's fix that. Let's forget about everything. Let's come up and say, from today on, I will be the giver. Picture this, your dog sits here 
and you come up and your dog uh, growls. What just happened is you entered the threshold where your dog already starts predicting that after that distance you come and take. Okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna step back away from that threshold. It's basically an imaginary line that your dog perceives if he passes that line, the next thing gonna happen, he is in reach and he gonna take things away that I have. And you're gonna prove him wrong. From now on, okay, you're gonna change your mind and says, I'm sorry I did that to you, I didn't know better. Okay, now this guy Roman told me I should try something else. And this is what I'm gonna do. Every time I come up to you, I'm gonna give you a treat, showing my good intentions. Okay? I'm going to change your mind because I'm not a bad guy. I really love you. But sometimes you cannot have things. But I have to start with my good intention. Fix what I did the damage before. So your dog is here chewing on his bone. And you come up in the threshold and all of a sudden you see the first signal. Did he just stop chewing? Yeah. He stopped chewing. His first signal is he freezes. Try to find out what you're up to. That's your threshold. That moment, you back off a foot or two and your dog will continue chewing. Uh -huh, that was smart. You walk in, he stops chewing. Like, oh, that's a threshold. You go back, he continues chewing. It's like, dude, you know what? I really appreciate you giving me that signal. You dog is smart. You give me the signal that you get concerned when I approach. I did actually didn't know it. I thought out of nowhere you start growling at me, but actually you give me a signal. Good boy. Toss a treat, let the dog have that treat. Thank you for telling me that you are concerned for me approaching. I'm gonna fix that. The next thing you come up, the dog is chewing, you come up, you know where the threshold is, it's kind of imaginary line. You stop there, the dogs continue chewing, nice job, continues chewing and then take a treat and toss the treat. And you tell him, look, and toss him a treat. Now, how many times do you think a dog will go through the process, try to figure out what are you going to do if you stop at the threshold? Right. He's going to check in with you and it's like, do you have something that you want to share with me? And you're like, yeah, good catch. Now your dog sees you as the come and giver, not the come and taker. Okay, now all of a sudden you're the good guy. You come up, you toss a tree. I know what you're going to think. You're going to think that because I, my dog growled at me, or because he gave me this aggressive message, I should treat him? Well, if you see it that way, of course it's wrong. But you know what? It's not wrong. Because you're replying to your dog's concern by rewarding him for telling you that he has a problem. You see where I'm coming from? I want the dog to give me that signal so I know what I'm up to. So I'm not punishing the dog for giving that signal, I'm rewarding my dog for giving him signal. And not only that, I also give the dog my good intentions that I saw the signal and I replied to that. Now if so far what you heard looks and sounds interesting, how about you invite your friends on that? I would like you to think through the process of I want to reward my dog to have a good opinion about me for what are my intentions. And now that I talked to him and I conditioned him that I recognize your signals, just give me signals and I know what you're up to, now I'm gonna heal the distance that my dog was concerned. Before it was 10 feet, now I'm down to nine feet and 10 feet because I will walk every time closer as he continues chewing. He continues chewing and giving another inch, another foot or two feet. He stops chewing. Thank you for telling me that right at that spot you're concerned. I'm gonna stay a couple of days and just toss him a treat every time he has something. You get the concept? Now, you condition to him tolerating that you approach with good intentions. See that program? Now, we're not gonna take his bone away. We're gonna give the dog a free choice, okay? Hey, do you want those treats or do you continue to want your toy? And your dog is like, um, I want that treat. But you know what? Your treat is not as much worth as my bone. So I will continue chewing the bone. And you're like, I know, but I have chicken. 
what you have chicken oh I love chicken I'm like you know what how about we do in a fair trade you let go of the bone and you come and take the chicken I'm not coming to you you're coming to me all of a sudden on your dog on his own free will lets go on the bone and comes to you to get the reward thank you for coming and respecting that I have good intentions that I mean not to take your bone away but your own free will you just dropped the bone right you just dropped the bone and the same law applies you let go of the bone everybody else can take it since you make a choice that you don't want the bone anymore and you want my chicken right so how about you go and cut the chicken from somewhere else and your dog goes into a prey drive and is going to chase the chicken where you tossed it I mean a treat chicken right not a real chicken and then all of a sudden your dog walks away from his safe space and goes and grabs the chicken and guess what you grab the bone and take it because he let go and he walked away from it and then he comes back to you and is like did you just take my chicken bone like my bone for a chicken and you're like yeah you want your bone back and he's like of course I want my bone back it's my favorite bone good and how about you sit and he's like okay and I sit you do what if you sit you get that bone okay I can sit good job and you give him back the bone can you see the big picture here can you see that all of a sudden you took your dog bone away and then he came back he did something in exchange and he got his bone back so I'll stop right now I will not continue I don't want you to do nothing more than that just go through the process become the giver and not the taker so whenever you need to take something away from your dog the first thing you want to do is you come up with a higher price don't come up with five bucks come with thousand worth of dollars reward and you're like hey I got that chicken you want that and you're like, sure okay go and get it and toss it in the other direction so the bone that he's protecting he being free so you can take it and hold it take it away pick up the next chicken and reward him not longer not further than that do not challenge your dog when he's in a safe space do not go and take his bone when the dog is there he has to wait walk away from it okay so that's all I would like you to do and I would like you to give me a feedback so once you're done with it I would just go up with your dog see where he's chewing his bone and just toss him a treat and be a good person and give me that feedback I want to you to explain to me what a great look your dog did to you I was like did you just give me a treat and you're like yeah that's what I do I come up and give treats I hope that helped so if somebody told you take everything away from your dog because he reward you he growled at you understand that your dog is basically fearful he has a trauma somebody did something to him and now he thinks that you guys the only thing are up to is to make damage to his bone and he's protecting his bone it's a very natural instinct so natural that you actually are more protective than your dog you're not what if somebody goes up to your car huh see you will be upset about it what about somebody touch your child hmm that's a bad thing too right and how about somebody who has the same car with you say hey I'm gonna change my car <clears throat> I give you my car I'm gonna take yours <laughs> no 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 it's not I paid for it I don't know your car but I'm not giving you my car so we we'll, we are protective and the same way we were protective of our socks so we talked our dog that being protective is what I want you to do because I'm your parent and I showed you how to be protective over your bone the same way I am protective over my sock just be aggressive and take it away no matter what make sense okay that's pretty much it so if you liked it I will have that video short posted on my YouTube account and you can guys share it if you want enjoy your dog respectfully don't harm your dog don't try to be stronger it's about being a parent not being a weightlifter enjoy your day